Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today we're on the website of Julian's Auctions based in the US. We're going to have a look at their latest auction which is the Music Has Charity Relief Auction that has a few guitars in it. So before we get into this I'll just quickly say if you like the video please consider subscribing because it really helps the channel. Feel free to comment or any of that kind of fun stuff. So yes let's kind of crack on and see what we have here. So as always we're just going to do a raw take of what's in this auction. Not many lots really there's only 49 and only 14 of those are actually guitars. So this is a charity auction so there's lots of signed uh, guitars I don't think there's anything necessarily particularly kind of old or important from a kind of album recording point of view or live playing point of view. I think these are just mainly specialist kind of items basically created for this auction to raise money for charity, which is fair enough. So the buyer's premium is 25%, so that's the amount that you pay on top of the final hammer price. Um, this is a US based auction so check all the terms and conditions if you're looking to uh, to buy especially if you're outside of the US if you're in Europe or somewhere else in the world make sure you check all the terms and conditions this particular auction is due to finish on the 5th of February it's the third today so you've got a little bit uh, of time left to go so without further ado let's just have a quick look like this is going to be a short video because there are not many things here so the first thing we have we have a Robert Plant signed Gretsch electric guitar with marker and photo. Okay, so we can see here a few pictures. It's the man himself signing it. So the estimate was 1,000 to 2,000, and we're currently on $6,000 as the bid. Remember, this is for charity, so I think people are going to bid up a lot higher anyway than normal. Um, even if it is kind of a famous person's signature, I think there's some other things at play here. So it's a 2015 Black Gretsch George Harrison Duo Jet uh, electric guitar signed by hard rock vocalist and lyricist Robert Plant. Interesting. Housed in a tan tweed Gretsch hard case containing an envelope of Gretsch papers, accompanied by a photograph of Plant signing the guitar and a silver marker used to execute the signature. Interesting. So it's from. 2015 it's a george harrison model so that's interesting um looks like it was donated somewhere yeah donated by gretch so there you go it's a kind of modern guitar but it's signed by uh robert plant there so that's an interesting first lot moving on to the second one here we have bob dylan's uh 2015 Person of the Year Tribute Concert Multi Artist Signed Painted Epiphone Acoustic Guitar. Estimate two to four. It's already on three and a half there. Let's have a look at a few pictures. These aren't the largest uh, pictures, but I think it's more of just a curious uh, thing. I actually quite like the uh, art on that. It's quite uh, quite interesting. Something a bit uh, different, as I'd say. Let's see what the uh, what the blurb is saying oh it's 2014 black epiphone acoustic guitar has been signed to the body by various artists who participated in the tribute concert honoring bob dylan upon his being awarded music as person of the year in 2015 including john mellencamp john doe tom jones graham nash david crosby aaron neville bruce springsteen alas morissette susan tedeschi Derek truck cheryl crow bonnie wright nora jones jack white and Jackson Brown, the guitar features custom painting of Dylan's eyes below the bridge. Yeah, it's an interesting kind of uh, painting there. Housed in black Epiphone hard case with corresponding painting, containing an Epiphone bumper sticker and folder poster, a small plastic bag of Epiphone paperwork, and sheet of paper with diagram of the guitar and signatures with the heading 2015 Music as Person of the Year, Rehearsals and Show Day. Please note Bob Dylan has not signed the guitar. That's uh, interesting. Um, let's see here. What's the provenance? No, there's not really any particular provenance there. But uh, yeah, Bob Dylan has not signed it. Uh, let's actually just have a quick look at the uh, art on this. It's kind of cool. I quite like it. It's interesting. I'm, this might make a good picture, actually. This might be a good picture for this, uh, this particular video. Always got to think about my uh, thumbnail. 
Um, right, so we're on to the third one now. Got a Joni Mitchell signed Gibson Hummingbird acoustic guitar. Estimates two to three. Current bids four, so probably quite popular just because it's a nice Gibson uh, guitar, as well as if you're into Joni Mitchell. That would also make sense. So it's a 2021 Gibson Hummingbird uh, signed to the body by Joni Mitchell. How's in a black Gibson hard case? I'm not going to explain who the people are. I think you probably know by now, and if not, you can uh, look it up yourself. Uh, donated by Joni Mitchell. So there we go. Very good. What other delights do we have? Obviously, there's other interesting things in the, this auction as well, so feel free to have a look at that in your own time, but uh, we're just going to have a look at the instruments. Um, Eagles, Don Felder, 2010 Gibson Les Paul Hotel, California, age 1959, reissue electric guitar with signed sheet music. Four to six is the estimate, current bids seven, so once again, a kind of a decent instrument there, Gibson, so it's going to be popular in its own right in a 59 reissue, so it's going to be popular. Uh, 2010 Burst Gibson Les Paul, age 1959, Don Felder uh, reissue electric guitar, created in the image of Felder's storied 1959 Les Paul, which he used on the majority of the solos of the Eagles iconic studio album Hotel California, including the solo for the title track, song written by Felder. This instrument is one of a hundred made and has been hand-aged and features a custom shop Felder Burst finish. Designed exclusively for the creation of this guitar, together with the guitar, tablish, uh, tablature sheet music uh, for the song signed by Felder in blue marker, accompanied by an official Gibson certificate for authenticity, indicating the instrument is one of 100, hand built by Gibson Custom Shop, housed in a black Gibson custom hard case. Um, let's see, provenance donated by Don Felder. So there you go, it's a Gibson Custom Shop uh, with Don Felder. Felder kind of association so I think that will do pretty well for the uh, charity I'd say right another one here we've got a Fleetwood Mac band signed music as person of the year Gibson Les Paul electric guitar estimates four to six wow that's on 12 and a half already so that's uh it's doing pretty well so there's a lot of love for uh Fleetwood uh Mac there and Gibson this does not look like the most high end of uh, Gibson Les Pauls, to be quite honest, but uh, I'm not an expert at all on uh, Gibson guitars, I must confess. 2014 Gibson Les Paul electric guitar and burst finish with serial number signed to the body in gold marked by all five members of the legendary Fleetwood Mac lineup Mick Fleetwood, Stevie Nicks, Lindsay Buckingham. And Christine and John McVie. Stevie Nicks has added the inscription, much love, above her signature. The signatures were executed in 2018 when the group was honoured as the Recording Academy's first music as person of the year. Okay. Gut uh, this guitar has been restored by Gibson's Repair and Restoration Shop. Hmm, okay. That's uh, pretty random. But uh, anyway, let's carry on. More instruments. Right, here we go. We've got a Joe Perry signed and doodled stage played Gibson Les Paul electric guitar with photo and video. Four to six is the estimate. We've got 8,000 on it already. Interesting. Very good. It's a 2022 Joe Perry signature Gibson Les Paul electric guitar stage played by Perry while performing with Aerosmith in Las Vegas. The guitar has been signed to the body by Perry in black marker above his hallmark Aerosmith doodle. Two wings enclosing the letter A, housed in a padded black Gibson bag containing a black guitar strap and small plastic bag with spare parts and owner's manual, accompanied by a photo and video of Perry playing the guitar. So, provenance donated by Joe Perry. There we go. And oh, we've got Elvis Costello guitar here. Elvis Costello signed 2012 Gibson Songwriter Series Century of Progress acoustic guitar. 2 to 4 the estimate, we're on 2 to 50 there, so not too crazy. Interesting model of guitar, this one. Some good pictures here. I'll put a link in the description as always. You can have a 
a look at it yourself and kind of see. I quite like these uh, inlays actually. It's quite interesting. Yeah, it's quite nice. Let's have a look at a bit more bigger picture. Yeah, I quite like that. Surprisingly, I quite like the uh, look of it. Anyway, limited edition 2012 Gibson Songwriter Series Elvis Costello Century of Progress acoustic guitar created in the image of Costello's beloved 1936 model used to record many of his most iconic and recognisable work. The original instrument can be heard on Spike and others. The interior label reads 146 for 300 and has been signed by Costello in black ink housed in a black hard case containing a Gibson certificate of authenticity and warranty. There we go. Uh, donated by Gibson, this one. Okay, so that's interesting. Moving on, there's a few other curious stuff here. Ah, we've got a slash signed and doodled signature Gibson Les Paul electric guitar with photo. Two to four is the estimate. We're already on that 8,000. I mean, there's a lot of love for uh, a slash for sure. There he is signing it. And it's obviously a Gibson as well. So I think this is going to be a mega money thing. A 2021 Anaconda Burst slash signature Gibson Les Paul standard electric guitar signed to the body by Slash in a silver marker. Slash has added his hallmark skull and crossbench doodle and dated it 2022. Housed in a brown Gibson hard case containing a black Gibson Ziploc bag of spare parts, a Tortex slash variety pack of picks and a black Gibson guitar strap accompanied by a photo of Slash signing the guitar. Okay, there we go. Well, I'm sure it needs no introduction to the Guns N' Roses uh, guitarist. Um, donated by Gibson. Okay, Gibson donating a few things in this auction. That's good. Ooh, Ozzy Osbourne related here. Ozzy Osbourne signed personally owned and used Gibson SG electric guitar. Ah, okay, interesting. So we have something that's got a bit more kind of bite to it. Uh, estimates 2 to 4, already on 10,000. Okay, interesting. Well, let's see if there's any interesting provenance on uh, on this particular guitar. Okay, black Gibson SD electric guitar, personally owned and used by Ozzy Osbourne. Signed to the body by Osbourne in silver marker, housed in brown Gibson hard case. There we go, obviously. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne, one of the pioneers of heavy metal and uh, Black Sabbath so very interesting to a lot of people there provenance donated by Ozzy Osbourne himself okay very good I don't think there's much other information about this the use of this particular guitar but they're saying that uh, he used it himself so I guess that's going to add to the value a bit Right, a Gibson 2003 Custom Shop Q Les Paul SG electric guitar. Estimates two to four on three and a half already. It's quite nice uh, looking uh, instrument actually. Nice figure on the on the top there. Almost looks a bit like some of those. I don't know if they were called. Supremes or something like that at some stage. I seem to remember that being a model. Looks kind of similar to that. Stunning 2003 limited edition Fire Mist Quilt Maple Top Gibson Custom Shop Q Les Paul SG electric guitar. Housed in a black hard case containing the white pick guard switch tip and Gibson certificate of authenticity. Another donated by Gibson. Gibson are really doing their uh, thing for charity, which is good. Oh, there's actually another item I didn't spot the first time round. There's a Slipknot J Weinberg stage played and signed drum head there. Estimate six to eight hundred, two fifty on it so far. It's a clear Evans G two drum head stage played by Slipknot's J Weinberg and signed by him in black marker with Slipknot twenty twenty two added to the side of the signature. Okay, there you go. Donated by Slipknot. Well, that's interesting. I didn't notice that on my first time uh, looking at what uh, was here. Then we have a Lenny Kravitz signed Gibson Custom Shop Flying V electric guitar with photo and video. Two to four is the uh, estimate and uh, 6,000 is the current bid. It's actually quite a nice looking uh, Gibson Flying V there from the custom shop. So, And if you're a Lenny Kravitz fan as well, then that's going to be an interesting item for you. 
So it's a black Gibson Custom Shop Flying V electric guitar that has been signed to the body by Lenny Kravitz in silver marker. Okay. Kravitz was a proponent of the Gibson Flying V starting in the 90s. Um, so this is accompanied by a photo and video of Kravitz signing the guitar. And it donated by Gibson. Wow. Looks like there's some other stuff here. Oh, that's the video there. Didn't quite look at that at some of the other lots. So yeah, some of these have interesting videos so worth looking at it if you uh follow the link that i'll put in the description right sting signed gibson les paul electric guitar with photo estimate two to four on two and a half so far there's that photo there it's his signature and it's a black Gibson Les Paul electric guitar signed below the bridge by Sting and Silver Marker with a smiley face doodle added to the letter G housed in a black Gibson hard case accompanied by a photo of Sting signing the guitar. So Sting from the band The Police, I'm sure everyone knows, um, donated by Sting. Okay. What else have we got here? Do we have any other instruments or are we near? Oh, we've got a couple more. Oh, Taylor Swift. That's going to be an interesting one. Taylor Swift signed custom Evermore graphic Epiphone acoustic guitar. Estimates 5 to 10. It's on 9,000 already. So this is uh, it's going to do pretty well. It's a 2020 Epiphone DR100EB acoustic guitar featuring custom graphics from Taylor Swift's Grammy-nominated surprise album Evermore. The guitar has been signed to the body by Swift in black marker with a small heart drawn to the side. Okay, donated by Taylor Swift herself. So there we go. That's, uh, oh, I've not noticed some of the notes here on the operation. Works and plays well with a slight buzz. Interesting. So definitely worth checking out uh, the descriptions here. I've just kind of ignored those. Ah, Harry Styles. Harry Styles signed and inscribed Always Love Fender Stratocaster electric guitar. Wow, you can see how popular this guy is already. Estimates two to four, twelve and a half thousand already. Wow, so there's a lot of love for uh, Harry Styles here. A lot of fans of One Direction and Harry Styles. And he's definitely probably the most successful one from that group, I would say, so far. A 2022 Black Fender Player Series Stratocaster electric guitar inscribed and signed to the body by Harry Styles in gold marker. The inscription reads, Always love, besides a doodle of a heart, also in gold marker. Okay. Plays well, but could use a setup to the owner's preference. That's fair enough. Makes sense. That's could say that for any guitar, basically. Uh, donated by Harry Styles himself. So there you go. If you want something owned, handled by uh, Harry Styles, then that could be it so and i think that's it that is all the um all the the lots really so though that you can buy uh bid on tickets 65th grammy awards and after party tickets for two so this auction i think is happening just before the grammy awards actually start so yeah expect the prices to skyrocket so it's for charity anyway so you know all of this stuff is going to go super expensive but i thought it might be interesting to cover this auction for people that are interested in guitars and famous people and things signed by famous people or played by famous people and that was about it really so check out the link in the description see what you think and i'll uh, catch you next time ciao Many thanks for tuning in to the Musical Instrument Investigator. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please like, uh, subscribe and turn on notifications and watch out for the next video coming soon.